decorated trees in the Aurora Christmas House tour this month. Today, Sharon shows one of them to our videographer, Patrick Reynolds. Take a look. Sharon, I love the holiday time and decorating with my kids. Oh, it's so much fun, Patrick. I do too. And I know you, like me, end up bringing out all the kids' old ornaments that they've made. Yes. It can be a bit of a mishmash. Yes. <laughs> but that's a look too. Right. Um, but in this house, this is a show home for the Aurora Holiday House Tour. They've had over 300 people walking through here to get ideas for their home. So the Aurora Paint and Decorating Store in town, they um, coordinated all the decorating here. And you can see this beautiful purple scheme that they've worked with. I love it. Yeah, I love the shade of purple they've used. I'm going to call that Supernova because okay. that's one of Benjamin Moore's color and it's kind of that dark, dark, rich one. Right. But what I find interesting about this tree, which keeps it elegant, is that they just worked with various shades of purple. So you've got this almost gray purple, mm -hmm. um, these nice sort of shiny ones, and then you've got the real, you know, the real fun sparkly purple as well. Right. And they've also got a sparkle here as yeah, well. Speaking yeah. Speaking of sparkle, well that's actually a really good tip. In this particular house, they've got a fantastic backs. Splash. I think it's a real focal point in this great space and it's got this opalescent finish. So if you have something like that, you want to bring that in to your accessories and your holiday decor. So that worked out really well in this space. And the wall color here is Ashley Gray, which is a fantastic neutral. And that really allows them, you know, down the road to change up their accent color. So maybe next year they'll be in a fuchsia mood or uh, an orange mood. So you can really play around with that when you have a neutral palette. I love it. Flexibility. Yeah, it's important, even during the holidays. Paint project you can do now or next year, whenever you the yes. the spirit moves you. It's yes. about ombre, which we know has been having a, a moment right across it's the board. It's so trendy. Nail polish, not mine. Yes. <laughs> Hair, um, you know, in bed linens, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And people are doing it themselves too, like dip dyeing um, fabrics and linens. So I think it's very popular. And I've tried a few times to do it on, with paint. And as you saw on tape, Sophie and I did the ombre on the wall, mm -hmm. and with a nice large wall, it, it looked fantastic. And I wanted that look of denim. So Beautiful. sort of an acid wash denim. So it was very cool um, in blues. But I wanted to show, because I think more people are, are inclined to paint their furniture today than they are necessarily putting faux finishes and, and decorative finishes on their wall. Mm -hmm. So um, Ikea was lovely and lent me the Tarva, which I believe we have a before shot of it because it's hard to, oh, you know what, I, I might have forgot. Oh, there it is. There we go. That is what the dresser looked like before. Mm -hmm. So very easy to paint and those are very inexpensive. So I often tell people go to flea markets, go to garage sales or look in your own house and find a piece of furniture that you want to paint. But if not, if you're picking up something that needs beautiful. to be functional. And there you go. Like So I painted it with three colors from the 2014 Trend Palette. Yeah. I thought the purples would look fantastic against that greeny yellow. It's sort of almost the complementary colors. Right. So worked those in. Um, because the actual um, dresser that I used was raw wood, raw pine, mm -hmm. I had to prime it first. So I used um, my good old Fresh Start friend. Prime the entire um, dresser, and then you want to sand it a little bit, just with like a 150 sandpaper, just to smooth the surfaces, because sometimes the wood, the grain gets a little bit raised, so smooth right. that off. And then um, I love when I'm painting furniture, um, Benjamin Moore, just like a couple of years ago, came out with this hybrid alkyd um, water-based paint, so you can okay. wash it up with with water, and you can wash it off your hands. But it's actually a, an alkyd paint, so it's very strong, amazing for kitchen cabinets, furniture, that kind of thing. So you can wash it off of your hands with your water, brushes. but it's not, but it's not going to affect it if water exactly. gets on it. Exactly, it's water soluble for cleaning purposes. That's excellent, um, and it's also better for the environment. So it's mm -hmm. much lower VOCs than than alkyds, than traditional alkyds. So I used a pearl finish, so you can probably kind of see the way I angle it a little bit there. Maybe yeah, not. a little bit. Oh, there you go. You can sort of see the sheen. Right. So I didn't want it to be too shiny because my overall set, um, we were talking about the matte finish and we had the linens. So um, here's my primer. I'll just sort of show you on a board. I used Supernova, which is this dark purple, which to me is like, um, it's like a more fun dark gray or a more fun black. It you is know? very it, gray. Very, very gray. So I used that here and just kind of painted it on messy. I used distant gray, which was my white, yeah. on the top. Let it dry, and then it's really important to use a whiz roller. That's actually what they're called. <laughs> so this She's is what not it looks like before. Up. I'm not. No, I wouldn't make this stuff up. So this is a whiz roller, but it's got a nice texture to it. Okay. And then I'm using lavender mist. I'm going to paint it this way first. 
I actually took some of the excess off on, um, on a piece of paper and then slowly go up so you can get that kind of snowy ombre effect. Okay. You see what I mean, Tracy? Do you want to try? Yeah, yeah, sure. I so like what's, what's cool about this then, because I, I was surprised to see that you actually started with the two <laughs> sides and then filled in the middle, middle. but it makes sense because you want that ragged edge, don't exactly. you? Exactly. And this side too. See? Oh, Tracy, you're such a better painter than you were five years ago. I know, right? <laughs> I'm learning slowly you're learning. but surely. But isn't that great? It's easy. You know, and that Brian Gluckstein thought that this was from Ikea like this. So I think he's going to try this do-it-yourself it project. Well, amazing. You're going to find instructions for uh, this t the ombre technique on our website. That's cityline.ca. 